If you have a bulkhead that you'd like to wire index deck plates to, you will need a lean deck plate at each starting block location, along with a lean data start deck plate with a bulkhead interface. So you can see here, this bulkhead has eight starting blocks, which will have eight lean data deck plates, along with your start lane data deck plate. Also, a bulkhead interface, which is, comes in this waterproof box. Inside the waterproof box, you will have LMI. This will, be, will need to be mounted inside the bulkhead. Here, we will show you the bulkhead interface box being mounted inside the bulkhead. As you can see, all the lane deck plates are being routed inside the bulkhead enclosure and then terminated to the LMI, lane module interface. Touch pads and buttons. The start and lane speakers of the lane deck plates will be terminated to wire nuts. You can see all the positive whites for the start are tied together. The negative starts, black, is tied together. Your reds for your lane speaker and your brown for the lane speaker. Then you will have the timer cable which is plugged into the primary jack of the lane module interface. That is routed back to your lane data deck plate. Let's take a look at the bulkhead box schematic. The installation notes state to connect all LP deck plates to the correct numbered jack on the lane interface and to refer to chart C. On this drawing we have eight lanes in use. The installation notes state to connect LSP1 deck plate 4-pin lane data cable to TB12 jack on the lane interface and to refer to chart B. The installation notes state to connect the LSP1 deck plate start, lane speaker, and aux speaker cable wires to E1178 wire nuts and place them inside the bulkhead enclosure. Refer to chart A for color code.